Should you use orthotics if you have flat feet? That's what we're gonna discuss in this video. How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of Working Body Wednesdays. Working Body Wednesdays is where we talk about posture, functional movement, and hardening your body so you're better able to cope with the demands of daily life. If this sounds like something that's interesting to you, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so you never miss another video again. Let's say you're someone like me and you weren't so blessed in the foot department. You have a collapse of the medial arch. Now when people talk about their arches, a lot of times they group everything into the arch but in reality, we have several arches in the foot. The majority of the time though, people are talking about the medial arch collapse when you talk about flat feet and the foot dropping down. Now when it comes down to making a choice of whether or not you wanna use orthotics for flat feet, I think there's some questions you have to ask yourself. One, what is the severity of the flat foot or also known as pes planus? If it is minor and it is not causing you any symptoms, you may have slight benefit from an over-the-counter orthotic. If your flat foot is more severe, like mine, then you may benefit from a custom-made orthotic. Now there's some obvious advantages and disadvantages to a over-the-counter versus a custom-made orthotic. Each has its own benefits and cons. Now the thing to think about when you're choosing whether or not to purchase an orthotic is whether or not you have symptoms, whether it's in your foot, your knee, your hip, because the foot can drive all these different things. And then also, have you tried strengthening the foot Strengthening the small muscles of the feet worked with a physical therapist or a personal trainer on something like this and tried to integrate that up into the hips as well. If you have done these things, then it may warrant an orthotic. I wanna put this out there though, guys. Even if you choose to purchase an orthotic or have an orthotic made for you, it is important to note that that is a passive correction of your foot. While this may be helpful if you're someone that has a lot of standing that they do throughout your day, it's still important that you work on some of that strengthening of your foot because what will happen is your body will get used to that orthotic and it will just relax and your muscles in the foot could get even weaker. So for me, I chose to get an orthotic because I wanted to have that passive correction, that passive correction of the foot to support the medial arch and also even perhaps more importantly to correct the rear foot. So a lot of people that are pronators, what happens is the rear foot will evert out in the middle of the foot, the midfoot will drop in. So you have this twisting of the foot. Now, if this heel cord on your back is not aligned well and the heel's not in good alignment, then it messes up the alignment for the rest of the foot and you don't get the pushing power. So a lot of times people have trouble with their hips if they have flat feet or even high arches. That can be an issue as well. So sometimes a passive correction to put us in what's called subtalar neutral where we have the talus and the calcaneus in good alignment with the talocrural joint. And that can really only be done passively. Putting that in a passive correction while simultaneously working on strengthening of the foot is a great combination for most people. I highly encourage you to work with a physical therapist or a podiatrist, someone that's looking at you in a functional manner, and they're not just gonna take a cookie cutter approach. They're gonna look at your individual case. What is it that the things that you need to do in your daily life, how active are you, those kind of things. They're all factors that play into choosing whether or not you should purchase or have an orthotic made. If you decide to go with a custom orthotic, find somebody that is an orthotist or a pedorthist, somebody that does this regularly and they're going to take a look at your foot and how it relates to your gait. Don't just have one of those foam mail to order boxes where you take an imprint of your foot and then you send it in because honestly, you might make a mistake and even the clinician might make a mistake if it's not something that they do regularly. So have it done right, because this is something that you may have for three to four years at a time. And it can be costly if you decide to do something like that. So that brings up the question, guys, with your feet, have you got custom orthotics? What have you done to help correct your feet? What have you done to help strengthen your feet? What's worked for you? I'd love to hear in the comment section below your thoughts, your questions, your input. 
This has been another episode of Working Body Wednesdays. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so you never miss another video again. Working Body Wednesdays airs every Wednesday at 5 p.m. So I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday.